You know, there are a lot of popular trends on social media centered around skincare and plastic surgery. We've brought you a lot of those stories too, but there's also a lot of misinformation when it comes to certain products and procedures. And to help us debunk some of those myths is facial plastic surgeon, Dr. Diana Ponsky. It is a thrill to have you with us today. You're amazing. Thank you for the opportunity to share some of my knowledge with yeah, you. Yeah, well, she's big on social media too, and you talk about a lot of these things that, as I just mentioned, we do a lot of these stories on this stuff too, saying, is it good, is it not? But she's the expert. Real quick though, after our tick story, you told me about a great little tidbit about ticks if you get them on yourself or your pets. Yes, so definitely if you get them on the dog, um, one of the tricks that I learned from the ER doctors and, and staff is if you douse them with some Vaseline, so like just cover up the tick and douse them with some Vaseline and you suffocate them and then you can just like work circles around and the tick just pops out. No so, kidding. No tweezers. Amazing. And a safer way to do it, yes. right? Yeah. Good to know. Great, so, to, great tidbit. Yeah. All right. So we've shown some things on TikTok and Instagram. Your kids will probably see this stuff too. One of the things that we even did a story on was called slugging, where you stick a lot of stuff. Will you explain that to us? But first of all, we're going to show your TikTok of what you did about slugging. So take a look at this. Another way to do it is to use saran wrap. So I've used saran wrap to lock in um, moist, key moisturizers in my under eye area so that it penetrates better at night. But let's say I use a little saran wrap under my eyes to lock in the moisture from my under eye thin skin. Well, that's really going to help it penetrate better and, and stick better. Okay, so slugging, is it good or bad? So it can be very helpful for the patient who has dry skin, slugging is just applying Vaseline or Aquaphor on, <clears throat> on top of your moisturizer. Okay. And basically what it does is it helps lock in the extra moisturize, the, the extra hydration. Okay. So if, um, you know, if you have dry skin, it's great. The thing to be aware of is that if you're acne prone or so, it can clog your pores a little bit more. So, mm. you know, kind of use it with a little bit of uh, caution and just see how it works for you. But in my where my, my under eye skin is really thin and very right. dry and so i think it's a a great trick to apply at night to get that extra moisture for the morning time okay good mm -hmm. to know another one is called the sephora kids we did a story on this because there's a lot of expensive too skincare products that are aimed to tweens even younger yes. and kids do they need all that expensive stuff so that's the, <laughs> that's a ma magical question right so as a mom of three girls and uh, they love you know skincare products they're of really course. into it yeah. and the positive trend um, what it causes is that you're more aware of your skin health and so um, so that's a positive benefit of it but not every product is correct for the teenage skin and a lot of times the teen skin is already well nourished. It has, it makes its own collagen. And really all you need to do is protect it. So you don't want to overuse products because some of those products may um, irritate. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the, the information my kids are getting from social media and TikTok, they're coming from older college, you know, 20 something year old uh, influencers and mm. their skin's slightly different. And so the, the 12 to 15 year old skin may not need all the same products. So it's just researching and finding, you know, your information. For sure. So. And your daughter, uh, we have a TikTok with yes. that. And you rated her little mini fridge, right? Yes, mini skincare <laughs> Let's fridge. Let's take a look so. at that now. Yeah. Thank you. As a facial plastic surgeon uh, for tween skin, they are blessed with a good natural protective barrier. So unlike my skin or anyone over the age of 25, they actually don't need a lot. So honestly, they only need three things, right? They only need a good face wash a good moisturizer and a good sunblock. Good to know. And some of this stuff could be, as you said, irritating and harmful for yes. them. Yes. So let's talk about now these flaxseed masks I've been seeing online. Do those do like kind of bring a little moisture to your face? Are those good? Do those work? So um, flax, the flaxseed masks have been gone viral on social media and um, they, they are purported to be as good as um, Botox be the homeopathic or more organic uh, variety, you know, or alternative to Botox. But the thing to keep in mind is Botox is a medication and the medication works for a length of time. 
Flaxseed masks, I think, at best, hydrate you really well, and you may get the benefit for a good six to eight hours after you apply it. It's like a mus you know, mucin-like yeah. substance, and so it, 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 it hydrates. It's, it's a very thin layer, and so it gives the illusion that something's not moving, but it's short-lived, and uh, you know, it probably does better as a nutritional supplement orally. Eating than it, that, yeah. ingesting it. So it's <laughs> like kind of Cinderella, mask. like the yeah. effects wear off at the middle of the ball right, and you're right. in trouble. Real Very quick similar. before you leave, I did yes. want to ask you, you need, if you do Botox, need to go to a reputable place. We've also yes. had, unfortunately, some stories in the headlines where they're not getting good effects because it's yes. not a board certified doctor admitting it, right? Correct, and some of those products have come without, they're, they're basically false or, you know, um, uh, fake products. They're not oh, made geez. by the company, and so the, the toxin in them can have catastrophic consequences. So. Okay, that's terrifying. Make you make sure you go to someone who's reputable, yes. a good doctor, yes. board certified. Really, it's just about getting your information and making sure that you know the facts are correct. For so. sure, Dr. Ponsky, thank you. Great thank to you see for you. The Appreciate it. Thanks okay. for stopping in.